Well, here we are again today. Got the wires already run. I want to make sure everything was going to go good. But uh, it's got the two short wires here. They come up from your box. Go right down to there. And there's a rubber red garment on here. It tells you which one's positive or negative. That helps out a lot. I just tie strapped my box up here for now. My solenoid. And ran all my wiring back with the wiring harness. The way all the wires came back from the headlights and stuff. So that's all done the way they came back out. Wiring harnesses and stuff came out here. I ran mine right underneath the frame back here. I strapped it right up for now. I'm going to get some more of this coil wrap stuff. And uh, do it right. I just got to go pick some up. So then I'll put that wrap around there. And then put the tie straps back around it. So I'm not quite done yet. But I went up here from my, uh, my, my, I added on a cigarette lighter. That was a quick little thing. Oh, I wrapped my solenoid box. There's a relay back here. I wrapped the relay because they didn't give me anything to wrap it with. So the relay got wrapped there. And I went right back in here. And perfectly enough to uh, go right on the battery. They got a lot of stuff connected to mine. Not as many grounds, but more hot wires for stuff. But I did test it already, and it worked good. So that worked out great. Gotta love it. I was just getting that through there. Make sure before you put this on here onto your plate, you wiggle your, get this through here, and then bolt this on. So let a little of your winch cable out, feed it in, and then bolt this on. That makes it a lot easier, and you ain't got to do it twice. You can wiggle it through like I did, but it'll be a lot easier if you don't. And the two wires for the switch, they just buckle right in. Optional to either leave it on or not. With a long enough cord, When it does plug in, your cord's so long, I mean, you can be way off to the side and still use it. And it's got an in and out. It's not a free floater. This one does um, go out. Some of you just got to pull the knob out on the side. The 1,500 pounds one, you got to pull the knob out on the side and pull your cable out. Where this one will feed it out electrically, which is, that's a nice, another feature that I like with it. So I got one wire left to put back on. This wire here will get tapped into my ignition switch. I'm going to tap it into this side down here with a butt connector. Just a quick butt connector that wraps around this. I'll show you the butt connector I'm going to use so I don't ruin any wires whatsoever. And this will just snap right in there. The butt connector I'm going to use is this one here. Your long wire feeds in there. There's no cutting of wires. Those are the best ones. I like them. Feed your, uh, your butt one in there, and the other one just goes through it quick and easy. Done. No snipping and no wires. This way, you, there's nothing in the middle. And then I gotta come up with another connector to put in there on the other one for a quick connect. And that's it. Put the panels back on. Well, I said piss on it, and I went ahead and mounted it. Um, the wires and stuff for the switch. I went through my radiator. I took off uh, this piece of cowling, which is no big deal. Screw here, a couple screws for your gas tank cover. This pops right off. Um, and then I just ran the switch up here. They give you a nice little bracket mounted up here. So I just mounted the switch up here, left-handed, so I can still use my throttle and shift at the same time. So I know there's a lot on the handlebar, but I like it. Um, the little red wire, there's one wire that's left over that gives your power to your switch, so I, uh, says ignition, so I went to my switch, took my, uh, tester, found the red wire in here, it's, that's the positive one when they turn your key on, that gives you power, so that gives me power to my switch, so it's got an in and out, works great, loving it, so we're completely done now, only thing I didn't like that came, didn't came with this, um, is uh, no covers for the ends. So 
So I want to black tape in that for now, but I'm going to get like a spark plug boot or something to go over that. Or something smaller, a lawnmower plug boot. And put it over the ends of these because I don't like them exposed. Just I don't want nothing to rub up against them and then it arc out on something. So that one's black tape for now, but I'm going to get some kind of boots for them. So I suggest you guys should do the same thing unless you like a piece of metal or something you arc up against there. It's going to short out your whole system on your four-wheeler and that's not good. So cool beans that does it for this and uh, I'll show you how we assemble the plow on there next talk to you soon guys